Hey guys, welcome to Cricket Fanatics Magazine. This is the daily show. I'm your host, Khalid Moedin, and this is the show where we talk about all the major talking points in South African cricket. Now, I gave you a massive update yesterday about when the new season will start. It obviously hasn't been 100% confirmed yet on what the date is. Franchises have been given a draft fixture list so that they can start preparing for the for the new season. But it hasn't been 100% confirmed by CSA quite yet. But as we know, there are some players that are back in training. We heard from Zubair Hamza, who was elected as the new Cobras captain. We had an exclusive interview with him about the new season, etc., and what his goals are going to be. We also heard from the Dolphins that Marcus Ackerman is going to be the new four-day captain for the Dolphins, which was quite interesting. And we did an awesome video with him as well, where we cut out a part of our Unlockdown episode with him, where, we, where he spoke to us about his goals for the future, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's an awesome type of video for you to get to know Marcus Ackerman a little bit better. So before we get started with today's topic and today's video, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell, become a part of this family, become a part of this community. So let's get going into today's topic. I had an amazing opportunity to interview Ryan Rickleton from the Lions. Now we know Ryan came onto the scene and got his stardom from playing in the MSL and obviously being a massive factor in them winning the first inaugural competition of the Mzanzi Super League under Enoch. He obviously opened the batting with the likes of Chris Gale, and it was quite phenomenal to watch him really blossom into one of the top T20 talents in the country. Now, it's in the first-class arena that he hasn't really gotten the opportunity for the Lions. Obviously, with the likes of Stephen Cook over the years, Alvira Peterson, obviously, we've had the likes of Temba Bavuma, we've had the likes of Rassi van der Dissen, Riza Hendricks, Dominic Hendricks, so many experienced guys that are up there that have been occupying those spots in the first-class arena where he's been seen more as a white ball cricketer. In fact, that is not really true. Um, we know his ability in the first-class cricket. Obviously, for Gauteng, he has an average of over 48. So I spoke to him about what his goals are for the new season. So without further ado, here's my interview with Ryan Rickleton. For many fans, obviously, they would have taken note, t notice of you in, obviously, the shorter formats of the game. Um, what a lot of people don't know is that your first class stats, which I'm going to put on the bottom of the screen, is quite phenomenal, actually, averaging over 48. And you have more hundreds and fifties, actually, and mm. um, for Gauteng especially. Um, can you talk to me about your first first class cricket? With regards to the Lions, I don't. Obviously, there's it's quite tough because of the experience over there. I mean, the, obviously, mm. they have so many experience. Subject, yeah, yeah <laughs> touchy subject. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. With regards to first class cricket, what are your aspirations for that? Look, and how I've, do you plan on working on, on getting into I've, that? I've time? always I've always said I've always wanted to be a test match player from the beginning. Um yeah. that's that's never changed, obviously, opportunity. So when I came um back, I went overseas on my first year to New Zealand and England and I came back and I um uh joined the strikers and I played a couple of games there, I was getting into it and obviously it was a first step. So started to do quite nicely for Kauteng. I just could never Get a get a higher mm. opportunity um obviously because of guys like cookie was you know obviously yeah. a dominant force and not just the lions but in cricket in south african cricket and uh dom dom obviously was doing very well and then reza came along mm -hmm. and then you got grassy that's needs to bat in the top four and timbers there and so that's kind of a it's a tough team to get into yeah of course um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I got to the beginning of last year. I played. It was poor. It was ha poor. Ha what? It was poorly handled by both myself um, and and the staff, and we both mm -hmm. admit up to it. Uh, I got. Yeah, I got one game. I wasn't really fit mentally to to push on with them. Yeah. Um. So I got left out of the second game, and I actually didn't play again. Uh, just because the team was so balanced after that. So I'd love to. I'd love to obviously love to play first class cricket. I still want to. Yeah. Um. And uh, yeah, my, my my goal is to play a lot of first class cricket this uh, season, yeah. coming for the Lions and obviously yeah. further on there. But obviously, because I haven't played, I have to try and get into the teams other way, other way. So obviously, I cracked in the T20 team and then eventually into the 50 over side. So yeah, and um, but yeah, like I said, I still want to I still want to play first class cricket. I obviously, still want to play Test cricket as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I I think that you have the ability 100, percent and I think this time around, um. Obviously, uh, there's there's not 
it hasn't been 100 percent confirmed i think these people that have gotten into trouble with regards to saying that there's a november return and i know that the franchises have been given a draft fixtures etc and it's only draft yeah. fixtures and csa must still confirm it but um it all depends i guess on whether england will tour you or not and it still needs to be confirmed as well but if that happens, I mean, a lot of those guys that are in that first class team, it might be your season to break through. Um, is is has that been the communication? Um, have you been preparing yourself for that? Maybe the opportunity. Um, if the guys like Riza, Temba, all are in the Proteus side, it's obviously opportunity for you to showcase your talent. Yeah, it definitely is. I, I have been preparing. I actually, I'm expecting to play. To be honest, um, mm. I've yeah, I've been preparing quite a while now for the Red Bull stuff. Uh, obviously, makes it easier when. The pro tiers are playing because they do take up yeah. quite a quite a chunk of our squad so it does make it easier in terms of more opportunity to settle in it's not where you get one game and suddenly you know your back's against the wall yeah. where, where the team needs you actually more than you need the team um in that case so it's a uh, yeah we, i'm hoping that uh, someone gets in here in december or november and um mm -hmm. at least it'll just give a few more opportunities not just to myself but to quite a few players um the lions as a we do have a, a, a wide squad and there are yeah. a lot of good players in there who can all actually play in the four day team. Yeah. So, you know, the, if that happens, it'll obviously be a lot easier for myself and a lot of other players. Yeah. So in pre preparation for that, how, what has it been like back in the camp again? Um, obviously after coronavirus and everything that's happened, you guys are back in training again. What has that been like the transition? Um, it's been slow to be honest um yeah. i think just because we haven't had any kind of nothing to work towards we haven't had a date a draft or anything for the last three months so mm. i trained um i trained quite a bit for that uh 3tc um cup yeah well when i say i trained quite a bit i came back earlier and we i probably had about three sessions before i got told i was going to play so yeah but then I, but then after that Kind of died because you know what's the point what are we working towards um yeah and then it's obviously picked up at the beginning of august it picked up and just not a hell of a lot i mean we're training twice maybe three times a week um groups of groups of six i think like that and yeah so it's been a bit um slow it's uh you can see quite a few guys are chomping at the bit to actually get out and play just to have some yeah. practice games i mean i think if club cricket had to start tomorrow everyone would be you know playing everyone would be up mm -hmm. for it so i think now that we finally have a date uh we've been off this last week and uh, i think next week we're already starting with our middles and our four-day game and stuff like that so i think it's gonna pick up quite a bit now because it's been a long break for most of the guys yeah and and the new guys have they settled in um obviously i made quite a few new signings yeah we made quite quite a lot of new signings um, <laughs> Yeah, the, the nice thing about it is that everyone knows everyone. We've obviously played against each other quite a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, McGakes and uh, and Wes, obviously, obviously, and Luto and, and Claudia, they're all sliding quite very easily, actually. Um, we've, like I said, we've all played against them, Luto, Magala, especially, um, for quite a long time now. And they're all nice guys. They, they're on board um, with, the, with the way the, the lines works and the, mm -hmm. the way we train and stuff like that. So it's quite easy for them just to, to get in and get on with it. Cool. So I want to talk about the IPL. Um, have you been watching any of the games um, at all? Yeah, I've actually I've watched quite a few. I watched the highlights and some of them as well. Yeah, it's been it's been yeah. good so far, I must say. Yeah. Is there anyone in particular that you uh, any team that you like maybe support or or not? For some or reason, just, I've, no. I've always wanted um, RCB to do well, but I, I quite <laughs> like. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. I just think they should be better than what they are, but I quite like uh, watching yeah. the old uh, the Chennai, the old the old man's team. That's quite a nice team to watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what have you thought about some of the performances? Obviously, Faf has been phenomenal. Is there anything that you pick up or learn from his game from watching him play? Um, obviously, we've seen the likes of Lungi really put on performances as well. Um, is there anything you picked up or that you learned from the way they've approached it? Yeah, probably probably learn a bit more from the other players. Like I watched Cal Raul last night, and just the way how he, oh, okay, cool, just his approach to it. I mean, like he, I saw that um, who's that opener for RCB, that young um, new guy, uh, that opener. Yeah, the new, the new guy. Yeah, so I watched he got fifty in the first game, and then he wants to obviously play the same way the next game, and you know goes for it one too early and, and gives it away. Where you watch guys like Raul facing dale and uh just he plays proper good cricket shots and gets uh gives himself yeah. a chance before then eventually exploding so that's probably been my big learning it's like you watch those guys obviously they're different methods and some guys go harder than others but 
you, I like watching the, the difference of, you know, watch Australian players, the Indian players, the English players, and then obviously our guys, I know, but better. And it's quite, it's quite nice to, to watch just the different styles and approaches to the game. Um, yeah, so I quite, I'm quite interested in watching, yeah, especially the, the overseas players to see how they do it. Cool. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the notification bell for all future videos. Also, don't forget to download the latest issue of the magazine. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Oh,